Just after dawn the next day, the teams gathered outside their hotel. Yep, they're all very committed to the, the cause, and um, they, this is much more of a life choice than a job choice. So. They would shuttle to the staging areas at the Sinclairville Highway Department, three miles down the road from JNK. There's a lot of moving parts. Six different sanctuary uh, personnel, vet teams, law enforcement, USDA. It's been quite the uh, logistical puzzle to get everybody here. Everything that could be planned was. Captain Frank Loricella from the New York Department of Environmental Conservation oriented the small army that had assembled. For the general public, big cats are really not the appropriate pet. There was concern and speculation that the owners and their supporters might not cooperate. No one knew exactly what might happen. But it's good to be prepared. Yeah, you have to be prepared. So. We're going to go in, we're going to secure the place, then we will call down for the first team, whoever it is. DEC officers would stand constant guard throughout the operation, armed with tranquilizer darts and shotguns. There are facilities that you know, should, not, should not function. And when they don't, it's our job to assess them and find the appropriate venue for the animals. After meeting and a quick briefing, it was decided that Kelly would ride point with local police, who would go in first and serve the warrant. She is tense, but relieved. I'm glad that it's finally happening. It's been a lot, a lot of work in progress uh, to get to this point. Just wait In a massive show of force, including 25 armed officers and over a dozen vehicles, they speed off. You have to coordinate transport and everything for the time of the warrant, which means we had this whole logistical um, mess to try to work through to get everybody here on one, on one day. The sanctuary crews and the IFAW team would wait at the staging area for the all clear, making what preparations they could before the rescue would begin. People who uh, own the facility were cooperative, which was a uh, concern of ours. Fears proved unwarranted, and the owners, while not actively helping, surrendered the property willingly, handing over the keys. Once the area was secure, IFAW, USDA, DEC, and the veterinary team walked through the grounds and made assessments. This is Apollo, Roscoe, Sebastian, and Chantal. No, these the conditions were bleak. It appeared that the animals had not been fed or watered for days. There were also a vast variety of domestic animals on the property. There's rabbits bleeding, roaming around. Rabbits? Mm -hmm. We've got chickens, we've got dogs, we have quite a few shepherds up here. You've got potentially dogs in crates in the house. Some of these shepherds are pretty aggravated. Kelly needed to make sure there was a plan for rescuing all of them, not just the exotics. Most importantly, we need to focus mm -hmm. you know, on what our task is at hand today. That's a tabby cat? Mm -hmm. It's all bloated up. I'm speculating that they haven't had a consistent meat source and they probably found the cat as roadkill on the road and tossed it in. It's probably been a few days um, deceased, so it's too rotted. The animals have not been interested in eating it, so it's just been laying in there rotting. Having secured the property and assessed the situation, the translocation could begin.